Hello and welcome back to Man in Ants Plays Wilson's Heart. So if you're watching the series, you will, oh, there we go, know that last video I got very stuck in this prosthetics lab. So it sent me back to the beginning of this. This is actually the third time I have loaded this game up. I tried it a couple of times just now, only for five minutes each. Got to the combination lock. I'm just flicking through this just in case it matters if you've read them or not in terms of the save game. Got to the combination lock, tried it a couple of times, and reloaded the game each time just to make sure that the lock is reset and I'm doing that correctly. I even thought, if we make our way over to the book, where it says the number, which was 57264, we have a look in here, so it's 57264 there. What I thought was, where it says left, right, left, right, left, because I tried doing it clockwise, anti-clockwise, that order, and then the other way. What I thought was, maybe when it says left, right, left, right, left, it doesn't mean that's the way you turn the dial. I thought maybe it means you do the left number, the right number, the left number, the right number, the left number. So I thought maybe it's 5, 4, 7, 6, 2. So I did a couple more reloads just to try that out. Didn't work. So I went, I gave up in the end and went onto the internet. And if you grab... That page, you can tear it out, put it in your inventory, and you have to have that in your inventory when you go to the lock, because otherwise it won't work. Even if you memorize the number, it won't work. Now, I've really enjoyed this game, I really have. I've, it's been weird, a little bit funny, kind of crazy. Um, the puzzles and stuff are generally relatively interesting, but this is the first thing which has genuinely infuriated me, because I wasted a whole video, plus another 20 minutes or so, trying to figure this out, and had to go on the internet to figure out, you've got to rip out a five-digit number before you can put it into the lock, even if you've memorized it. Which is mental. This is the first thing. So if anyone from Twisted Pixel is watching this, if I remember to, if I remember this number, if I can memorize it and put it in, it should work. I shouldn't need to rip out this piece of paper just to activate this lock. So that's been mental. So, oh my god, that's so annoying. There we go. That's all it was, and that's taken me three minutes. <sighs> Absolutely infuriating, honestly. So, what do we have in here? We can't go over to the desk. All we can do is press this button here. No good. Um... So I'm assuming you need to press both at once. So surely I just use my heart to do something? That doesn't seem to be an option. Maybe it's because I haven't pressed that one yet. Great. Both at once. There you go. but he hasn't figured it out yet. So maybe if I go back here and over there. Now my heart? No. Okay. Now we've got somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. So there's something we need. Which means we can press both buttons at once. So we still can't open any of these. Turn that on just so we can say that we've done it. Nothing there. Is there something over here that's now going to be useful? No, apparently not. Am I going to immediately be stuck again? Is this what's happened? Pointer Craft Pro Series. That's nice. So you didn't say that before, so that's new. But I can't put it in my inventory, and it just disappears back there again, and I can't move with it. Is 
Nope. So I am immediately... I didn't want to go there, I wanted to go in the middle bit. One place I haven't been. Where has it gone? Where am I? I can't do it from there. Infuriating. Go back over there. That's where I want to go. It's not going to give me any clues. Okay, let's pop back outside then. Ah, that's different. All right, Woody. Got a job for you. Um, okay, got to go over there first. Oh, he's going to go automatically into it. Easy, does it? Guess we're going to be uh, forcibly dismantling the poor guy. But I can't... Can't move over there at the moment. Why can't I move over there? Oh, I just need something over there first. Mr. McNulty's limb needs to have its pull arm shortened by a quarter of an inch and a rough spot in the socket filed down. He'll be back for it Thursday morning. Yeah, this might work. I guess Mr. McNulty is not coming back. All right, Woody. Time for your operation. I don't... Oh, I see. Just there. Right. Now you get a new arm. There. Let's see if this works. I'm guessing you're going to use the hook to hold him up on something. So then you can his arm wave against the button. I mean, what a convoluted little puzzle that is. This will hold him up. There we go. Right. Okay. It's there. Nice job, Woody. What? What's happening? What's happening? No. Can't stop it. Oh God. You, you've uh, got my arm. Woody. No Woody. No Woody. How can you be? Um, I can't go anywhere. You want more? No way, pal. Well now I can, so best I guess best I get moving, I I reckon. Gotta get out of here. Oh, so I've locked Woody in there. And now all these other wooden ones have come to life. What a freaky, freaky time. That shadow's creepy as all anything, isn't it? Running along the wall there. All right. Mental. Okay, let's go over here. Nope. Why can't I grab it? Why can't I grab it? Because you need to use your left hand. You mental. Um. Oh, I can't use my wooden one, that's why. Oh, God. Okay, and now... Press the button. Come on! Okay, so you can use your wooden one to do that. Um, no, Woody. Oh, because more buttons come up. Oh, I didn't even see. Didn't even see. Well, 
why. Uh, come on. Or God damn it. There we go. Okay. So that was a little bit finickety. So I knew something would happen with Woody. I knew he was going to be crazy at some point. He does still have my arm though. So that's a heart and an arm I'm now missing. Let's take a look at this arm. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least I guess that means Woody's not going to be following me anytime soon. That's something. Ooh, okay. Guess we're not going to be going that way then. So what have we got in here? Just a wall? Hmm, mm, no bones. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. What have we got here? Nothing. No, nothing. I can't pick that up. Unless that becomes useful at some other point. So let's go have a look in here instead. Not getting through here anytime soon. That also means that thing's going to be uh, a problem at some point, I'm guessing. You could do this. Oh. Bit of a time limit on that, apparently. So we'll uh, move a bit faster this time. Just kind of enjoying the view, really. It's the first time we've really seen outside. Bit of fresh air. That's one of the few times Wilson was more scared than I was of something. Makes a welcome little change. I can do it, come on, there we go. Hmm. Okay, don't do whatever I just did. Them as you wouldn't hand, that makes sense. I wanted to see if I could pull him out of there. Yeah, I bet you could. I mean, he did. So we're going to go in and fix this in, and then we're going to break down that wall. That's what's about to happen, isn't it? We're going to go here. Hope this works. And affix this to our uh, arm. No, oh, come on. Gonna get a new blade. Come on, suck it up. Keep trying to use my right hand. Okay, so we're not gonna get a new blade. Oh. Black, uh... That's pretty weird, isn't it? There. All right then. Let's 
go and punch a hole in this wall. This better work. Which I'm not need my TV. That's pretty cool. So when you do get your arm back, the Wilson, is it just going to be a stump now? Shit. Okay, I'm going to have to punch him in the face. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, didn't see you coming in. Come on, then, matey. Come on, then. No chance. No... Oh, God, those ones from the side keep catching me off guard a little bit. Body shot? Yeah. Okay, well, that's those dealt with. I'm liking this just punching through walls thing. This is quite fun. That's freaky. Oh, a few more of these, is it? Come on, then. Come on, then. You ain't got nothing, son. I'm turning you into sawdust. Nothing. Uppercut. Couple more. Jab. Whoa. Two at once. Yeah. Yeah, gonna sneak around, are you? Don't think so, mate. Don't think so. Oh, my hand. Oh, no. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? I'm gonna have to call this relatively soon. It's been about 18 minutes or so. Something. And apparently that little bit of damage means that I can no longer use it to break through a piece of wood. Obviously. Freaky. Freaky, freaky things. Now it's really to the side of here now. Can't go that way, so I guess we shall go this way. Alright, well let's go down there then. We seem to have very few options. Okay, well I think I'm gonna leave that there then. I imagine after jumping in, jumping in? Ha! <laughs> after jumping down there it would have saved, otherwise I don't think we'd be very far away. Definitely after that fight we had it would have saved. That last one where we uh, broke our poor little hand. Oh. Notice that our uh, outline still has a complete hand as well, weirdly. Thought that would have caught up, no matter. So, I hope you enjoyed Wilson's Heart. Actually, a bit of progress this time, which has been nice. Again, very frustrated by that combination puzzle. Very frustrated. Why? If you memorise it, I suppose the reason they did it, because if you just aimlessly twist it, you could get it, because it pops the pins up, you'll figure it out just by aimlessly twisting it. So it's a way of making sure that you find the pad. There has to be a better way of doing that. Like either when you're at the pad, have Wilson say, I should rip this out for posterity. Or just as soon as you try and turn the page, it just rips off almost straight away. Or when you're just flailing at the lock after you've already looked at the book, it should say, I should rip that number out so I can remember it. Something like that. Just a little hint. Just a little, a little, little push in the right direction. Because... I completely missed it, and I know there are other people on the subreddit. I think the Oculus subreddit, I'm not too sure, I'm assuming it was, who had the same issue as me. So it is a little bit frustrating. A little, it's the only one I've seen which is a little bit poorly thought out. Everything else has been fine, really. So then, if you are still enjoying Wilson's Heart, please do click the like button. It'd be very much appreciated. I like to know you like these things. 
Also, you can subscribe if you haven't already, and then you can keep up to date with all the upcoming videos and series and that sort of thing. And also tick the little bell, or click the little bell if you want to get notifications of the new videos as well. Any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Wilson's Heart for another VR mystery. Thank you very much for joining me.